2018, the fact that I have to write a letter to the Pine Ridge School Board because of the comments, the anti-immigrant comments made by the president of the Pine Ridge School Board makes me really sad. So that's why I put extra effort into this sign. And um, I, that's why I had to put this little blurb up here because I expect to have to defend a very easy to say statement here. So I hope other people will look around and say, it's okay, white people can fight racism too. I do have bad things to say about Pine Bush, but I applaud all my white brothers that was out there supporting me and my friends today that are out here standing with me, supporting that we were treated badly our whole freaking life. It's a beautiful sight to see all these different colors. Black lives! Yeah. Black lives! Yeah. Black lives! Yeah. 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 Jamal Cooper! Yeah. Bud! George Floyd! Bud! Bud! Eric Garner! Too many! Alvin. What? Too many! Too many! Too many. And I refuse to become a hashtag. I refuse to stand for the racism and the animosity that these white KKK members and Trump supporters stand for. All these signs, this is the most important sign. This is the Ending Quality Immunity Act. What that means is that police officers will be held to the same level of responsibility as every other human being on the planet. And although everyone says my generation is lazy, and we do this and we do that, we don't pay attention. But we're the next generation up. We're gonna change the world. We're gonna be Malcolm X. We're gonna, you're gonna hear our voices. We're gonna scream loud and clear for everyone to hear. Get your knee off my neck! Get your knee off my neck! Get your knee off my neck! We thank you for all of our brothers and all of our sisters that have gathered here in this park today. Bless them, keep them as only you can. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. And amen. I also want to give a big shout out, not only, because this is not a war between black men only. There is also black women who are fighting this war with us. I am a parent. I have a time. black son. Take Thank your you. time. Take Hold your time. Right time. We've lived here for four years. The first year we moved here, my son showed me I hate niggas. That was circulating. That hurt my heart to see that. Why? My six year old asked me, what did we do? What did we do? I don't understand. I look at each and every one of your face. Yes, I am grateful that you guys are standing here with us today and you see and you understand. But what do we do to move forward? Because when these kids go back to school, when they go back to school, will they still be niggas? Will they still be spits? Please do something in these schools, the education system, please, please, that's all I'm asking. My kids go here, these kids go here, your kids go here, please, that's all. I grew up in Pine Bush too. I led the 2016 Blackout Movement. It wasn't a turnout like this. We were getting Facebook messages like, hang those kids. Those are thugs. They're nothing but a disgrace. And what a lot of white people don't understand, just because you don't use the N-word around your family and things like that, doesn't mean that you're not teaching your kids to be prejudiced. And it just amazes me how people can be so upset about this protest. Why a bunch of people coming together to stand up for fellow human beings 
is that a problem to them? Why is that a problem? Maybe, again, they should look in the mirror because this isn't only about police brutality. This is about racism. Yes. And if you have a problem with yes. this protest, you just might be part of the problem also. Thank you. It's about speaking up when you're uncomfortable. That's what it is. See, I went to high school here, and when I was in high school, I saw children walk with Confederate flags, and that's why I'm here. I'm an alumni of Pine Bush, and that's why I'm walking. My family's black. I might not be black, but I'm Hispanic, and we fight for everyone, and that's why I'm here. That's why everyone should be here. Everyone. It's positive. We're fighting for what's right, peacefully. My family comes from all over, and that's why we gotta do it. That is why we gotta do it. I'm so happy to be here. Because we have children that look like this. Because my niece looks and like this. And they matter. And she fucking matters. Sorry for Sorry my Sorry for the language. She matters. She matters. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. We need to stand together as a community to fight this, just as we're doing right now. Seeing so many posts from a lot of my past classmates and other alumni has been so disappointing and seeing how normalized the racism is that people don't even realize they're being racist. And that's where we need to speak out and say enough is enough. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! My name's Gene Ellis Jr. and I'm from Middletown. Yo, is that a Confederate flag? Yo, really? Like we said earlier, the hell with them. Ignore them. We're here for this reason, so forget about them. I'm not gonna let them stop me from what I gotta say. I wanna drive a nice car and not be accused of being a drug dealer. I wanna see black men and black women not end up on the news for being shot, but accomplishing things, making statements, making changes, all right? I'm done. We're all in this together. I graduated from Pine Bush High School like many of us here. And many of us here are heartbroken by what happened to George Floyd. So am I. And I don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat. I don't care if you're white or black. I think all of us can agree on this, that that was wrong. And that nobody should have to be killed in that way. We have a justice system that says that you are innocent until proven guilty, but that man was convicted and killed before he even had a chance to stand on trial. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. And it could be easy today to walk down through Pine Bush with fear. It could be a little uh, nervous walking today, but he says he'll be with us. Yeah. For his rod and his staff would comfort us that he prepares a place for us in the presence of his enemies. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life, and you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. B -L to the A-C-K. B-L to the A-C-K. I refuse to sit there and let us be divided by one group who hates who was born to hate, who was born to teach their children to hate, and their children to hate. I don't have hate in my heart. And you know what's the problem? What's the problem? We got the KKK in the government. We got KKK in the government. And you don't understand how important it is to vote. And I'm not talking about for our next president. I'm talking about for our local offices. School boards. School boards. Our mayors. Everybody. I am the only person in this town who has been fighting the KKK. What's that? PO Box 13, Pine Bush, New York, 1974. Visible Knights of the Ku Klux Klan. Have you been fighting this for how long? Um, only a couple years because, to be honest, it really Trump really woke me up and and made me delve into the newspapers. We are the Taylor. We are the Taylor. Matter. Matter. I've grown up in Pine Bush my whole life, and when I saw what was happening and everything, I I got so mad, so upset, I broke down, and I went and talked to my mother. I was like, this isn't the America that I want. This isn't what it should be. So when I got in contact with Chief Belasco about it, I talked about doing it today, and he actually put me in contact with Christina because she was planning to do one this same exact day. 
Yeah, so I'm Pine Ridge High School alumni too. I have two daughters. My goddaughter goes to this school and I kind of knew it needed to happen. And I feel like it happening gave me that confirmation that it really needed to happen. So for me, I did it for everyone that was here that was able to speak, march, and let their voices be heard. Like that was my main thing. I needed Pine Bush to know that we were here in Black Lives Matter. We bleed red just like you. We bleed red just like you. You know what 400 years of trauma has done to us. Can you guys even fathom? No, we can't. Oh wait, you guys just thought that it goes away and it's just like, oh, it's well, all is forgiven. No, there's spiritual trauma. There's physical trauma. There's mental trauma. All of this stuff that the black community has to deal with. Fucking hiring some black officers. You know how to deal. Listen, all of these cops out here, how many cops of color do you see out here right now? Not one. Not one. Not one. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20 cops, yeah. not one yeah. officer of color, not one, not one, no more murders, man, yo, we just want to be safe in the community, y'all, we just want to be safe, man, and we not, that's a fact, that's a fact, that's a fact, we don't mean no harm, we don't mean no harm, we just want to be heard, we just want to be heard, we just want to be heard, I was, I've been marching for 11 days straight in New York City, like 15 hours a day. I went from looting to like the riots to love, to marching. And I remember saying to my wife, I was like, man, imagine it going to Pine Bush. You know, when I, when I heard it was going to Pine Bush, my fucking head exploded. <laughs> and uh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because this town means a lot to me, too. You know? yes, so I'm glad people are going to fight for it. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Cool. Thanks, guys.